Thanks for coming. Uh, as always, uh, not really as I don't want to take them for granted, but I want to thank our student body and our fans for being there and showing up and hanging out. Even we got a little drizzly, was, so we appreciate that. Also, um, we had a lot of respect for Rutgers. They came in, they were 5-1. and one. Really could have been 6-0 and oh, other than a slam pass. They, a Penn State receiver caught against them. <clears throat> so, pleased with the get out that we got out of the locker room fast, 14 zip, and that's a good sign. That's several games right in a row. So, I'll answer any questions for you. Front row right, Tim. Yeah, Urban, I think a lot of us were wondering, why was JT still in there in the fourth quarter if you guys were up 56 to whatever it was? What was kind of the thinking there? And you guys did take a little bit of a beating today, injury-wise, it looked like. Yeah, the, the one that really hurt was the Jacoby Bourne, right? We just, we have no one. Joe Hale hurt his back. And so we just, we were down to, you know, we put Gatsky, a young man who's a great kid in it, was a walk-on. We're just having a real depth. That, you know, Brady Taylor uh, hurt his shoulder. Uh, Marcellus uh, wasn't allowed to play today. And uh, so we're just, right now, we're, we're, we got a little depth issue. Uh, JT Barrett, you know, that's a conversation I had with Tom, and I can't remember the conversation other than, uh, once again, he's still a freshman trying to get as many game reps as he can. Uh, far left, Austin. Urban, you know, Jalen touched it a few times. Nick Vanette had the touchdowns. It's, it seems like every week you're adding to this offense and still growing. Uh, does that feel that way to you as well, and, like you're adding more pieces even with the players? Yep, yeah, it sure does. Uh, you, you, you know, sometimes you, you like an Evan Spencer, we had a couple of plays designed because we have to get him. The, he's, he's probably practicing our best as a wide receiver. But the one thing about our style of offense, and really everyone's style of offense nowadays, um, in the spread sets, you don't say throw the ball to him because if they take him away, something else is open. That's where JT is so good at whatever the defense gives you, giving the ball. So we have a lot of pieces right now that uh, deserve maybe a few more, but you can't really control that in the way we do our business. Front row middle, Todd. Urban, you came in to this week saying you wanted to improve on the red zone offense. You're six trips there, five touchdowns. Another game where you've had over 500 yards of offense, more than 50 points. Is there anything that you feel like you guys can't do offensively? I'd right still now? grade us down offensively. When your quarterback has to scramble on a fourth down uh, in the red zone, that's not that's a good play by an individual. So we uh, we had uh, actually uh, we were trying to get Evan isolated on the Mike linebacker, and we did, and we didn't score. So that's the, we got a little chat about that on tomorrow and get better at that. So uh, I still consider our red zone offense not not as good as it should be. So. That gives us something to really work on uh, tomorrow. Far left, Doug. Urban, you guys have scored more than 50 points in, in four straight games. Now, you've had <clears throat> and you've coached a lot of good teams, but what do you need to do when you're playing like this now to make sure you keep playing at a high level in the second half of the season? How do you keep a team rolling? Well, I don't feel for one minute, because I'm grinding the coaches pretty hard and, and on the headsets. And you know, when we don't, you know, the, the good thing is I just don't feel like there's a complacent attitude. Complacent, complacency is awful in this business and, and with the players. And I don't, because when you watch a film, we, we could actually play a lot better in certain situations. Our defense, you, you credit that, you can take the first half, and that's a credit to our defense now. Uh, they took a team that threw for 400 plus yards against our rivals and uh, really played well, uh, creating turnovers once again and uh, uh, getting, the, getting the ball to the offense uh, rather quickly. So I, I think uh, there's a lot of things to work on offensively. Uh, uh, the second half, I was not pleased with our deep. We gave up some runs. And, and you just, you know, when, when, our two, when a two gets in the game, there can't be that big of a drop off. And right now, we all saw what happened. Uh, there was a significant drop off when our twos got in there. Far right, Clay. Yeah, Coach, does this, uh, does this defense now deserve to be called Silver Bullets? Is this a defense you're, you're proud of? And is this in any way kind of a statement nationally? Or did you, I mean, do we know how good Rutgers is? I mean, Barrett seems to be moving up, as yeah. do you. Um, yeah, I think this, you know, to, to come out like we did on, on uh, you know, a national televised game, you know, next week we all know what's coming down the barrel, and that's a primetime game in a, a stadium with 110,000 people. And, and that's going to be a great evaluator. You know, this was a home game against a team that we had a lot of respect for that really earned. They were, they, we considered our whole talk all week was they're a 6 0 team. And that's the way you approached it. And so there was a lot of, and I think you can tell the way our guys came out that there was no, a lot of respect for that team. And not, not, uh, it was earned respect by what they did a couple weeks ago when they beat our rivals. So um, I don't know if I answered your question. Oh, uh, well, I think we are. You know, I think we are, and that's, I'm sure you're asking me to 
so someone will blog it out and say, here's Coach Meyer ranting and raving again. I'm not. I, I think we're talking. I don't really watch the other teams, but I think we're playing at a pretty high level right now. Far left, uh, Bill. Was there one thing before the game that you really wanted to see, and did you see it? Yeah, get out fast uh, and play good pass defense against a, a team that uh, was on fire throwing the ball and most improved quarterback, I think, in the country a year ago. Because uh, we went back and watched some film last year, and that was a much improved uh, offense. So we had to see jump start or quick start, uh, started off by kicking game and then the uh, opportunity to uh, uh, play some good pass defense. And uh, final question, Bo? Urban, <clears throat> you, you said you prepared this team as, as they were playing a 6-0 and team, and this was pretty comprehensive from you guys. I think it was 56-10 to halfway through the third, um, and, and you get the guys all fired up for that. What's the message post-game uh, when you guys put it on a team like you did? Uh, can, is this one where the guys can pat each other on the back and say, job well no, done, any of that? No, I, I, don't, I don't feel that yet. I mean, there'll be a time for that, and it's usually in January. It's not now. It's a time that... Uh, to first of all develop depth, I could we can go on and on about the mistakes that were made today, and so they enjoy the win tonight. Go see your families, do what you got to do, and then uh, come back ready to go. The good thing is there's this is a really good team to coach right now. They're they're as hungry as our coaching staff, and that's a good sign.